Hello, welcome back to our channel. So today we're talking about difference between US and Finland. So here we come. <laughs> so we've been writing notes to our phone every time we know some notice some differences and now we're just gonna go through. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So the first one is recycling. In Finland, we recycle everything. We have so many different spots that you're supposed to put certain things. But here, at least at my apartment, your apartment, it's like one thing that you put everything in there. Yeah. So in Finland, there's like, we have our own thing for paper, for bottles, for food. Or thick paper, like a paper box, what's it called? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boxes, like glass. Plastic. Yeah, everything have their own like, trash. Yeah. And here it's like there's this one and you can put everything there. Like I think newer places have like yeah better recycling. Yeah, but this is our ex we're talking about like our experts, what do we have noticed? So places that she's been living, I've been living, it's only like literally like one. I think my place we have two, but the one you put everything in the other one. I'm not sure what you put there because I see every time there's different things in that little one. So I don't even know. So it's just pretty much everything goes to the same place. So number two, what we notice is that people use here checks. I I mean honestly I don't know. Do they use info? I don't think they <laughs> I've never seen checks in Finland. Yeah. So I don't think they use those at all. Well, have they used it before? Like I don't know that either. Honestly, but I know here I only receive checks. Yeah. Every time I get check, like it's pretty easy. You can like deposit in with your phone and put your account, but it's just weird because that's something we don't do in Finland. Yeah, we don't use check. Yeah, no use it. So number three, well we noticed that here in America you use a lot of like simple signs, <laughs> yeah. like like signs you like are. It's a service. Yeah, like. I don't know. <laughs> well, like very simple signs. Yeah, like the obvious things you have to write, like don't like don't do this, like don't jump from the roof, like don't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't like we were in IKEA, and there was a toilet in a showroom. Like the IKEA is basically a big showroom, and it says like. Basically, don't use the toilet there. Like <laughs> restrooms are located somewhere else. Like, like why do you need the signboard? Like, do you think like someone, someone actually is gonna, gonna use the toilet? Yeah, there? someone's gonna pee there. <laughs> so like, we don't. We have the same story in Finland. Obviously, we don't have that kind of signs there. So number four, we celebrate Christmas twenty fourth, and here celebrate twenty fifth. Yeah, and I feel like that happens also in other holidays too. Like. What is the vato? But it's only Finnish celebration, but we celebrate it in the eve. Oh yeah. Not the, the actual day. Yeah. So number five. There's a lot of like social differences. Like in America you use you have a lot of small talk. We basically don't have small talk. Yeah. <laughs> like barely. Like we don't ask hi, how are you? Like how is your day? Like for or we don't say even hi people who came across us on the street. Yeah, and we barely say hi to our neighbors. Maybe someday you do. Yeah. But like at least you're not gonna ask how are you. Like you can maybe look at the eye and say like Yeah, like nod but Yeah, but you're not gonna like talk to your neighbors. <laughs> yeah, but I really like that thing about America because it's easy like an icebreaker because you can start a conversation easy. Mm -hmm. Cause then you can like see if you want to talk to someone like say how how are you and it's like natural in Finland it's kind of like hard to start starting to talk to a stranger yeah but here it's like natural and easy yeah that's something I really like yeah <laughs> number six uh, Finnish people are really like punctuality okay. like on time. Like if you say you are gonna meet at 6 p.m., you are gonna be there like 5:59. Like you're gonna be there at 6. Or 5:55 because you wanna be a little bit early. Yeah. So you're like on there on time. It's really important to be on time, and yeah. we don't come late anywhere. Yeah, it's the rule to be late. And if we say we're gonna meet tomorrow, we are we definitely oh. gonna do that, and yeah. it's like it's a like it's gonna happen. Here yeah. it's kind of like more 
relaxed i feel like and like yeah, say, yeah let's hang out tomorrow and then, and then you maybe you're not call gonna... someone maybe not and yeah and you say, if you say let's meet at five you might be like five thirty or eight <laughs> or eight <laughs> yeah so number so, seven tipping culture if you know we don't have tipping like nowhere yeah and here it's like must like you have to do it you have to tip at the restaurants like nail salons like anywhere you go you have to tip people yeah. even like food delivery and yeah you have to tip and, and uber drivers like everything yeah it's really hard so you know like we don't have any tipping in finland i, I have only experience when i travel because i think somewhere like greece and like some european countries might have it but i think i'm not sure if it's optional but it's not like you can pretty much leave whatever you want but here it's kind of like specific amount that you have to leave you can not yeah. just like leave it like one dollar and that's it like it's like actual amount that you have to leave depends how much you buy stuff yeah so number eight taxes uh in finland if you go to a store and you see the um price, price of any product when you go to the cashier the product the price is gonna stay the same it's not gonna change like the taxes are include whatever you buy yeah. So here you have to like think like if you buy something like for example milk and it says two dollars it's not gonna be two dollars when you go to, to the, the cashier. cashier it's gonna i don't know how much but it's like depends yeah. on the state also like how much tax are yeah you, you need they include taxes like when you buy the product so it's not included when you see the price on the shelf yeah it, it makes i think it's like now it makes it like more yeah, harder like because why? if you have like certain amount of money and you go to store in finland you can like count everything you buy and yeah. then you know how much you're gonna spend you're gonna give it the exact amount for the cashier but here if you have like certain uh amount in your mind it's kind of like really hard to count everything together because you're like unless you i don't know it's just harder to count everything yeah so number nine shoes inside in Villa we do not wear shoes inside it's really dirty and weird that you are here in America people most of the time probably wear the shoes inside not everyone but you can yeah. see a lot of people do that yeah I think it's really weird I just don't get it is it like uncomfortable to wear shoes and like, what if you go like lay on your own bed are the shoes not gonna hang out like outside the bed or you just take them off there and leave them on the floor what if you take a shower and then you step on the <laughs> floor and then it's dirty because you've been walking there with your shoes yeah but i don't get it like that's that just like easy. something out of no never wear shoes inside that's dirty so number 10 dates here in america you put the month first then the day and then the year and in finland we have a date year and in day, <laughs> date uh, in Finland we have a date, month and year so I think that's more easier it makes sense because like day is the one that changes yeah. every day and then it's the month that changes every about 30 days and then it's the year like why would you put the month first and the day in the middle like <laughs> I don't know I feel like this our way makes more sense and it's been like hard here sometimes like yeah, when you feel like papers and stuff you already have to think like I yeah. can't remember about the month first yeah and it's hard <laughs> yeah it's confusing because we're used to use the other way and now we have to like think other way and then sometimes i use the finnish way sometimes i use the mega way and then i'm like confused what it was this so number 11 here you use am and pm and in finland we have the 24 o'clock mm -hmm. so i don't know which one do you like more uh i don't know i kind of like in this case i feel like the american way makes more sense because then it's like yeah. easier but then because we're used to i kind of like like 23 you have to say am pm but i don't know it's kind of like i like both yeah but i like like i like maybe the american way is a little bit it better. makes that kind of like make more sense it's easier because you just put the am pm thing yeah both are good yeah i remember when we were kids and then you have to like for me it was like easy to learn i remember we had like a friend <laughs> like who could have like learn it and it was like hard like, if you had to go for like I'm, what is a 16 clock or yeah like they didn't that? know what 16 that's like four and like, yeah. like 21 nine yeah. so like I, we had friends who couldn't learn that it's just 
kind of like it, it could be hard to learn. Yeah, but like, I think like A and PM can be hard too because you have to remember like yeah is it like before like after like what is it? Yeah, I think when I learned that I didn't remember. I think I learned that from like one song AM to PM the song, and I was yeah. like, what is this AM to PM? And then I learned, oh, it's like American way to mark time. Yeah, both are good. Yeah, number twelve. Uh, the grocery store cashiers pack your stuff. In Finland, you do that yourself. Uh, here, they do it for you. <laughs> what yeah. do you think about that? Do you like it or no? Um, I just use the self-checkout, so that's where you kind of have to do oh, yeah. your own groceries put in bag. So I don't mind doing that myself. Yeah, I'm obviously because we used to like doing that ourselves. Yeah. So it's like I can do it myself, but it's like nice that they do it. So you sometimes like maybe it goes faster when they do it because they know when they do it. I don't know. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> but I don't know. It's like whatever for me. So number 13, and there's a lot of differences like what comes to the food culture. Mm -hmm. I feel like in Finland we have a smaller portion, like when you, even like plates and mugs and everything are so much smaller. Yeah. And here they are bigger. Now I'm kind of used to the bigger size. I know. Like even when I have like tea, I'm, I'm gonna take a big cup of tea. Usually yeah. Here, there's like. They're so small. I know, it's good, like a it's like Everything is so cute. When I go to Finland and I see my kitchen, I'm like, oh, this microwave is so cute. It's just <laughs> little, like I'm in like a dollhouse. I know, I remember when my husband visited uh, Finland for the first time and I make him tea. I made him tea. And he was like, this is like a little like shot class. Like, what are you talking about? This is our normal size. And then now, because I have those Finnish uh, cups here, because I've asked my mom to bring it. So now it's like, I don't. I barely use those. Cause they're so small. I have like those. Now I use those big American tea cups. I like probably like triple uh, what I drink. I used to drink. Yeah, even when you order from like from stores Rest, or yeah. like like different different drinks, they always like come very big size. You can have a big size. Yeah, and like Finland, they don't even have those sizes. Yeah, and food when you order plate, you can pretty much share it because it's enough food. Yeah, you need your own plate here. Number 14 Finnish people are really honest people and very humble Not saying that Americans are not <laughs> But like Finland, like if like people really mean what they say Yeah Like I think it comes to the time too, like we're always on time If we say something we're gonna keep that promise Yeah Yeah, it's like like if you ask someone like, hi, how was your day? Finnish people might be like, mm, today was kind of like bad and like <laughs> things didn't go so well. Yeah. And it's like in America, it's like you are like supposed to say I'm good, like yeah, and put say, a smile on. Like yeah, if you say like not good day, they will be like, what? I'm like, well, who this person's weird? <laughs> yeah, like some of us say it's like more shallow, but I don't know because I like the American way. I like the small culture because it's like it's like a part. Like I don't know what I was saying, but like. So it's a norm mm -hmm. to say like I'm good and like how was your day and it's happy and I like that personally but mm -hmm. there's like a difference for sure. Yeah, but I like to finish on it, like honestly. Yeah, I like I feel that like too. you can trust Finnish people. You can trust basically everyone. I feel like people have very good intentions mm -hmm. and like I feel like people trust the government. People trust other people. There's barely any like stealing of stuff. Like obviously something that stuff happened, but. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like a really honest culture. Yeah, like I feel like if I leave my back somewhere, it would be there the next day. Like, yeah, <laughs> like it's just like very honest and very humble too. Good people in Finland. Yeah, very humble. Like people, principal always like, like you don't need to do that for me. Like, mm -hmm. like if you if you have some coffee, I will have too. But don't do it. That's just for me. And like yeah. they're very humble and don't want to make a big deal about themselves. Yeah. Number fifteen. We have noticed that here, um, if you have to do some kind of like, I don't know the word, <laughs> like paperwork, like everything you do, like I uh, have to do the rent or like anything, it's like a lot of paperwork. And in Finland, you can do everything online. You don't have to go anywhere, you don't have to send anything. It's online, touch it quick, easy. Here it's like, go here, do this, fill this, do that, go ahead, get this one, go fill this one, send this here, let's get this here. It's like <laughs> really complicated. Like, even easy things, they're made complicated. 
Yeah. When you can just push the button and it goes and it's done. I feel like things are very simple. Like everything is really easy in Finland. <laughs> like everything starts very simple. Basically, like make a. Not you don't even have to call somewhere. Just go online and yeah. do it quick, and everything's very easy and simple for some reason. Yeah, probably also has to do with that uh, it's a smaller country and mm -hmm. it's a bigger country. But then obviously, if it's a bigger country, there should be more people to work. I don't know. And it should be more simple because otherwise, it's a lot of work to everyone. Yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. Everything works in Finland. <laughs> that was our video today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye! Bye!